two, three, four. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah, yeah. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah, yeah. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah, yeah. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah. Yeah, let me be still, listen to the truth. Let me be still, let me be still, listen to the truth. Let me be still, let me be still, listen to the truth. Let me be still, let me be still, listen to the truth. Let me be still, let me be, let me be. Let me be still, yeah, yeah. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah, yeah. Lesson 106 from A Course in Miracles. Let me be still and listen to the truth. If you will lay aside the ego's voice, however loudly it may seem to call, if you will not accept its petty gifts that give you nothing that you really want, if you will listen with an open mind that has not told you what salvation is, then you will hear the mighty voice of truth, quiet in power, strong in stillness, and completely certain in its messages. Listen and hear your Father speak to you through his appointed voice, which silences the thunder of the meaningless and shows the way to peace to those who cannot see. Be still today and listen to the truth. Be not deceived by voices of the dead, which tell you they have found the source of life and offer it to you for your belief. Attend them not, but listen to the truth. Be not afraid today to circumvent the voices of the world. Walk lightly past their meaningless persuasion. Hear them not. Be still today and listen to the truth. Go past all things which do not speak of him who holds your happiness within his hand, held out to you in welcome and in love. Hear only him today and do not wait to reach him longer. Hear one voice today. Today the promise of God's word is kept. Hear and be silent. He would speak to you. He comes with miracles a thousand times as happy and as wonderful as those you ever dreamed or wish for in your dreams. His miracles are true. They will not fade when dreaming ends. They end the dream instead and last forever, for they come from God to his dear son, whose other name is you. Prepare yourself for miracles today. Today allow your father's ancient pledge to you and all your brothers to be kept. Hear him today and listen to the word which lifts the veil that lies upon the earth and wakes all those who sleep and cannot see. God calls to them through you. He needs your voice to speak to them. For who could reach God's Son except his Father, calling through yourself? Hear him today and offer him your voice to speak to all the multitude who wait to hear the word that he will speak today. Be ready for salvation. It is here and will today be given unto you and you will learn your function from the one who chose it in your Father's name for you. Listen today, and you will hear a voice which will resound throughout the world through you. The bringer of all miracles has need that you receive them first, and thus become the joyous giver of what you received. Thus does salvation start and thus it ends. When everything is yours and everything is given away, it will remain with you forever. And the lesson has been learned. Today we practice giving, not the way you understand it now, but as it is. Each hour's exercise should begin with this request for your enlightenment. 
I will be still and listen to the truth. What does it mean to give and to receive? Ask and expect an answer. Your request is one whose answer has been waiting long to be received by you. It will begin the ministry for which you came and which will free the world from thinking giving is a way to lose. And so the world becomes ready to understand and to receive. Be still and listen to the truth today. For each five minutes spend in listening, a thousand minds are open to the truth, and they will hear the holy word you hear. And when the hour is past, you will again release a thousand more who pause to ask that truth be given them along with you. Today the Holy Word of God is kept through your receiving it to give away. So you can teach the world what giving means by listening and learning it of Him. Do not forget today to reinforce your choice to hear and to receive the Word by this reminder, given to yourself as often as it is possible today. Let me be still and listen to the truth. I am a messenger of God today. My voice is his to give what I receive. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah, yeah. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah, yeah. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah, yeah. Let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah. Yeah, let me be still, listen to the truth. Let me be still, let me be still, listen to the truth. Let me be still, let me be still, listen to the truth. Let me be still, let me be still, listen to the truth. Let me be still, let me be, let me be. Let me be still, yeah, yeah, let me be, let me be, let me be still, yeah, yeah. And now for the reflection on Lesson 106. For the first time in the lessons, Jesus uses the word ministry. That you have a ministry here. There is a way for you to minister to people, even though... Everything is a projection of your own mind and your own consciousness. Still, the release from this dream is to minister to these others who are with you as well. It may seem like a dichotomy. It may seem impossible to wrap your mind around it, and that's fine. Because your mind can't wrap around it. And yet it's true. There is no one here but you, and yet you are here to minister, to have a ministry, which is to extend the love and the holiness and the blessing of God. The lesson says, let me be still and listen to the truth. It calls us to a deep place of listening so that we can receive our ministry, so that we can go forth every moment into the holy instant, so that we can help the memory of the whole, the one, the all, be received through me. This is the reason we're here, and so Jesus has called us into a ministry here. You are called to minister It doesn't have to be a grandiose thing. It can be simple. It can be quiet. In fact, it's best if it is. So take it seriously today. Remember during this day that you do have a ministry to perform. And your ministry is simply to love.